Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we praise you. We honor you on tonight. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just want to worship you on this night, Father. Just want to bless your name. Just want to honor you, King of glory. The Lord who is mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is his name. Father, we welcome you in this atmosphere. Mashato Rebiya Sataya. We thank you for the glory cloud. We thank you for the fragrance of the Spirit. We thank you for the very breath of God, the, 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 the Ruach, to be present in all that we're doing on tonight. Oh God, we ask that you will encapsulate us into new realms and dimension of your Spirit. We want to see your glory. We want to see your presence in the name of Jesus. Halabareka talabahaya. Father, as we come tonight, ha, 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 we are asking, O oh God, that you will pour out your unquantifiable favor on us. Oh, let us look good and smell good. Let us smell good, Father. Let our praises come up before you as incense. In the mighty prophetic name of Yahushua, Jesus, the anointed one. Can somebody begin to bless the Lord on tonight? Again, I just want to give him praise. I want to honor him. He has been such a faithful father. Hallelujah. And I just want to, you know, continue to live a life that is sold out unto my Messiah. Shaku Bahaya. As we're going to go into tonight's session, we're under a very powerful theme uh, that is entitled Taking Back the Territories. How many of you know that there is an anointing for territory in this place on tonight? Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you that did not get an opportunity to watch my last broadcast, if you want to have that understanding that all powerful, hallelujah, God is going to be using you in this prophetic season to take back some stuff that the enemy has, has stolen, you will begin to watch that um, broadcast. And so um, I want to appreciate you. Merry Christmas to my loved ones. Merry Christmas to my sons and daughters in the Lord. Merry Christmas to all of you. Hallelujah. A special shout out to my spiritual daughter in Honduras and all the my, my loving um, 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 brothers and sisters in, in Africa and different parts of the world, Jamaica. I accept holy greetings in the prophetic name of Jesus. Um, I am Prophetess Anarchy. Wait for those of you that don't know me. And I will be talking tonight very deep stuff. Hallelujah. So I want you to share the video, like the video, encourage someone to come on. Hallelujah. And, and let us really go into the deep things of God. At this time, I'm going to pray and ask the Ruach to come. Makabo Shadabahaya. Hallelujah. Who is the architect of our destiny? He's the one that is going to advance us into new levels. He's the one that is going to command the plans of the enemy to be terminated so that we will have access and success and progress to that which God has called us to do in this prophetic season. So we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. And so Father, we want to thank you, oh God, for your presence. We want to thank you for your power. Shaka ba 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 ba. We want to thank you, Holy Spirit, for your greatness. We want to thank you that you're beating down our iniquities. You're writing it down. Shadabaruku sakaya. And Father, as we come into your presence, oh God, on this night, the 22nd of December, just days away from Christmas, God, we choose to corporately agree. We choose to corporately come in unison with you. And we want to engage the spirit of Yahushua Amashaya on tonight. Rabba Bashandala Bahaya. With you engaged and with you supercharging us, the furious blows of the enemy will die. We ask that you will send furious rebukes against the 
powers of darkness that will dare to come against us and our families, our ministries, our marriages, our gifting, and our calling in the prophetic name of Jesus. Father, I know that you're going to do something tonight. And tonight we ask that the heaven will declare your glory over us. And the firmament will continue to show us your underwork that we will glorify the king of glory. We will see how awesome you are in creation. And so as I come before you in the mighty name of Yahushua, Amashiah, Lord, you are power. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are glory. I declare your name, Jehovah Rapha, over us tonight. El Gared, El Gebor, Rabashanda. I declare that, Lord, you are mighty in battle. I declare that you are Jehovah support. Kadusha. And so, Father, as we're going into this broadcast tonight, Lord God, we want to put on the old armor of God that we will be able to stand against the wiles of the adversary. So suit us up in the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the belt of truth. Put on our feet the preparation of the gospel of peace we take the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the enemy we take the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and also the garment of vengeance and the cloak of zeal according to Isaiah 59 and verse 17 Oh God, we ask that you surround us with your fiery presence. Let there be a fiery wall around us. Makabo Shadadabahaya. That will, sh will shield us. It will protect us from satanic interlopping devils. Oh yes, we ask that you will glorify our identity in you. As we engage in your spirit and in your presence, we ask that every item that exalts itself against the name of Yahushua will be brought down. We decree and declare that the angels of God, angels that hearken unto your spoken word, are armed right now. We arm the angelic army with the word of God, the sword of God, against the coinage of the enemy, we surround ourselves with power and with fire against those that will oppose and persecute us. We resist oppression. We resist manipulation in the prophetic name of Jesus. We resist the enemy in the mighty name of Yahshua the Messiah. We ask now that you will release arrows, lightning, thunder, coals of fire, the engine of war, the revenant us a beast of the Lord against any encampment, any encroachment, any arrestment of the enemy in the prophetic name of Yeshua the Messiah. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' prophetic mighty name. I pray. I just want to tell someone that tonight we are going to tread some uncharted ground because God is going to exalt himself up in our lives and in our destiny and it's not negotiable my god god is giving us the anointing and the unction to take back territories alabashanda territories that we lost because of persecution because of attacks territories that we lost that god designed for us to occupy that we lost as a result of fear and a result of not having adequate knowledge about the things that God wants us to do. There were persecution, there were revolt, there was all kind of demonic assassination and abortion that come up against the spoken word of God over your lives and destiny. But God at this time is giving you another chance to fulfill that God-given destiny. So what he's doing tonight is equipping you for the call. Can somebody type it? I am being equipped, alabashanda, for the call in the prophetic name of Jesus. So we're going to read a, 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 a few verses of scripture before I go back 
to, to the scripture, I want to admonish persons that this is the time in your life when you're at a, 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 a crossroad and you cannot have a double mind that um, kind of mentality. You must be someone that believe God's word irrespective of what you're seeing in the physical realm and you must tell God that you want what he has for you and you're ready to pay the price. Often time when God will give us a, a, a vision or some insightful information and revelation as to what he has in store for us. Many of us are so fearful we start to ask God what about the price? I have to pay the price for this. Everything that comes from God comes with a price. And it's not negotiable. So take your, your focus off the price that you will have to pay. Because I can tell you that the very the very thing that you fear, it will come upon you. And when you're paying that price and you go through it and God see that you did not shortchange your destiny, you didn't sell out, but you went through the process, you went to the pruning, you went to the ripping and the, the picking and the process was so rigorous, you were squashed, you were, you were peeled, you were held in a corner. God is going to reward you for your faithfulness. God will give you anointing and dominion that surges through realms and dimension that will cause you to have breakthrough as you live your life in sync with what God is saying. Dominion and authority will be given unto you that can shift atmosphere and set things in motion for that which you need to establish. In the name of Jesus, in the prophetic name of Jesus. So tonight I want us to talk about taking territories. When I talk about territories, I'm talking about serious people who know that, you know what, I've been beaten down, bogged down. I have been sabotaged long enough. I am carrying a baby and my baby um, in my spiritual womb seems like it's overdue. I need to expand in realms and dimension. I need discernment to hear God's word. I need revelatory insight as to the next move of God. I want to go at a more advanced level in the things of God and it's not negotiable. So devil, you got to get out of my way. And so there were two men that I spoke about in my previous broadcast. They were Caleb and Joshua who had an indomitable spirit. They were ready for change. God gave them an anointing to unlock destinies. Not only their destinies, but the destinies of many others. The destiny of a nation. The destiny of a generation. And so you and I are prophetic voices of reformation that God is sending now to the forefront. Many of you were at the backside of the desert. You were so weary in believing and waiting and the hour has come so God has sent me tonight uh, to, to, to activate catapult, set you off hallelujah, into that place where you no longer hallelujah, have this elaborate amount of questioning in your mind what if all the what if are, are targeting your, your 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 prophetic word and some of you are even slayed by the what if but God wants to anoint you afresh tonight uh, in the prophetic name of Jesus uh, so you can go in and take the territories uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, I want you to write I am taking territory I know many of you are tired many of you are sitting down wondering what next I need to do. God said to tell you to push in the pressure. The truth about spiritual territory is that you will never get a territory that you're not prepared to fight for. So God says get up, do what you need to do. And remember that I am the one who is organizing the battle strategy. So what you need to do irrespective of what God says he's going to give you, make sure you keep in, 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 in sync with what the Father is doing. So you won't log behind and you won't run ahead of him and get yourself in trouble. Can I go deep with you on tonight? So learning about your destiny and learning about the territories 
things that God is giving you as that place of dominion, as that place of domain, that place of rulership, that place where you will be, hallelujah, in authority to rule a nation, to rule individuals, to, to run a ministry, to, 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 to live a marriage to the fullness. So you got to learn two things that when the Lord has certain things in store for you as it relates to conquering territories and finishing strong and experiencing the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and or in the land of prosperity. There are a lot of things that you will experience in this field before you actually come into dominion. There are things that you need to learn that the enemy will come up against you. Things like failure, things like hallelujah, oppression, things like um, I, I can't succeed. This thing that God has called me to do seems impossible. How can I fulfill this destiny when there's so much failure? There's so much stronghold. There's so much weakness in me. God, are you sure you did call me for this purpose? When you learn how to deal with failure, when you learn how to press in the pressure, the enemy will not use you as a, a, a target constantly to try out his demonic weapon. Praise the name of Jesus. There were two men in the Bible that we spoke about at length. Hallelujah. On my last broadcast, they were Caleb and Joshua. They were sent, hallelujah, to take territories. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice? You have been watching a particular thing, hallelujah, for months, for years. You feel impressed by God to start making researches, to start preparing hearing yourself to take these territories but every time Mandala Bahaya, you try to go. Something is attacking you. Something is saying you're not good enough, sir. Something is saying, Are you sure God called you for this? Rikabo Shanda Baba, you are the ones that I'm sent here for tonight in the prophetic name of Jesus. Mighty God, the Bible says, Can you turn your Bible with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, from 1 to 4? And I'm reading from the new English version. The Bible says in verse 1 of Joshua chapter 1 it says that after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, hallelujah, assistance, that Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, you and all these people into the land that I am given a to them, praise the name of the Lord, to, uh, to the people of Israel, every place that the soul of your feet will tread upon, I will give it to you just as I promised to Moses. Verse 4, for from the wilderness of this Lebanon, from the wilderness of Lebanon, as far as to the great river Euphrates, all the lands of the Etite, to the great sea towards the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. Praise the name of Jesus. Whenever we read in the Bible that God is preparing a people for a territory, we have to look ahead of just that, that one prophetic word. We have to start thinking about the battle to get to that promise. We have to thought, start thinking about what kind of kingdom strategy we need. We need to start thinking about how do we need to hear God clearly so that we can follow every given instruction so that we will win using God's principle to annihilate the enemies that are the strong man or the, 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 the governing entities that are occupying our territories in the prophetic name of of Jesus. So Caleb and Joshua had such an indomitable spirit. They believed the word of God. They intentionally provoked people to walk in a different dimension of power. They were
were not going to relegate to the back because they see enormous non-human hallelujah entities hallelujah surrounding their, their promise these were not 100% human they were giants even the grape and the agricultural things in that land was so huge that not one person to, could carry it and so Caleb was not intimidated he was not manipulated he was not going to turn back because the kingdom belongs to our God the earth is the Lord and the, and the fullness thereof and he knows that once God has given him the okay he was going to have that land in possession whenever God has given us a promise or, or instruction concerning something there are some fundamental things that we have to settle in our spirit in our mind number one we have to begin to thank God for the privilege of us being his child or children of us being called to be partakers of the heavenly blessings to be our partakers of the heavenly proportion of blessings number one we need to thank God for even considering us number two we need to ask God hallelujah to put the fire and the tenacity hallelujah in our heart to always persevere the things of the kingdom not to relent not to turn back because we are under attack or because on our quest for destiny we come under some form of demonic oppression and depression we must ask god for that power that enable us to disentangle ourselves even when the enemy wants to entangle and to engage us into stuff the weary ass uh, to cause us to faint so we will not want to occupy the land in the prophetic name of Jesus and so tonight I am under the fiery presence of God to tell you uh, that every environment in, 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 in that we traverse uh, whether you want to believe it or not there are just Giants that are there. Some of them are seen. Some of them are unseen. No destiny can be regarded as a failure. As long as God is in it. And as long as you have the willingness of mind. To do whatever God says. In order for your destinies to be fulfilled. In the prophetic name of Jesus. We are talking about territories tonight. We are talking about some territories that need to be taken back. Some of you need some, some territories in your bloodline need to be taken back because some of us are afraid. We have been taught theologically that Satan, hallelujah, control the earth. The earth belongs to him. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Does the devil really control the earth? Does the earth belong to him? Ask yourself that question. The devil did something very serious to Yahushua in St. Luke chapter 4 verse 5 to 7 reading from the NIV version the Bible says then a Satan taking him that is Yahushua up on a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment in time Satan was so desperate for worship and he wanted to take the Messiah off guard saying, do you know who I am? All of this belongs to me. So you don't even have to go through the execution that you want to go to, to, to be mauled and to be killed on, on the cross for these people. You don't have to do that because you know what? When the devil know that God has something big for us, he always want to show us the little shortcuts. Hallelujah because he know that we're going to fail if we are not thoroughly processed thoroughly cultivated thoroughly developed in the things of the spirit so here we have Yahushua Amashiah being led by by the devil upon an exceedingly high mountain according to St. Luke chapter 4 5 to 7 narrative the Bible says he showed Yahushua all the kingdom of the world in a moment in time and the devil said to him all authority I will give you and their glory for it has been delivered to me I will give it to whomever I wish therefore if you will worship 
before me, all will be yours. So this was a lie that was constituted by the enemy. There was never a proclamation. There was never a decree. There was never an announcement given that the earth was given to the devil. He was a lion. But the Bible goes on to say, ha, hallelujah, for those that know that they their God, they will arise and do exploit. Hallelujah. The Bible, hallelujah, want us to know. God wants us to know through his word that Satan is very very sleet. He is a, he's a trickster. The word of God goes on to say in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3 out to 4, but if our gospel be it, it is it from them that are lost in whom the God, and that is the God with the lesser G, the God of this world had blinded the mind of them which believe it not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahushua, who is the image of God, should shine in them. Praise the name of Jesus. So there's no place in the Bible when God said, Satan, I hand over the earth to you. The earth belongs to God. According to Psalms 24 verse 1, the earth is the Lord and all the fullness thereof, the world and those that dwell therein. Come on somebody. Kuraba Sanda Rabahaya so you can never hallelujah take back a territory that is possessed by devils until you know the truth in God's word concerning territories then you need to educate yourself hallelujah to activate your faith to another dimension by seeing throughout the Bible oh God has given territories to his people by removing their dominant enemies Every enemy, hallelujah, that used to possess certain lands and territories. When God has that land and territory in mind to give to his chosen, he will use whatever strategy, whatever mean necessary to dispossess those giants in the land to give the territory to the people of God. Praise the name of Jesus. So when Jesus addressed Satan, he did not address him like a weakling because he knows who he is and he knows to whom the kingdom belongs to. The devil does not own the territories of the earth. God own every increment of the earth and everything that is in the earth. The kingdom belongs to God and God has sent us here to evict the devil out of our territory and to take those place back from the devil so that the kingdom of God will come in everywhere. The kingdom will come in everywhere. The kingdom will be established everywhere. Am I prophesying? Why did Jesus address the devil by saying hallelujah Satan it is written thou shall worship the Lord thy God because Satan was seeking worship he was he was so hungry for worship to take back the territories you need to understand who you are and what is your assignment in that territory as God called you to the nation then you have territories of the world that you need to conquer to go to global, hallelujah, to be a global influencer. You have territories to conquer into nation. You are strong man to conquer over nation. If you're indeed called to the nation, that's why when God called Jeremiah, he gave Jeremiah a manual. He gave Jeremiah a blueprint of what his ministry and ministration entails. He gave him detail about what he was called to do. I called you as a prophet of a nation. So if God has called you and given you a territory, a jurisdiction, you're going to get a jurisdictory anointing for that region. Every man or woman that God has called for certain things, they must go through a process in order to receive that anointing or that man so that they can function in that dimension that God has called them to. Rebe Shakanda Labahaya. 
What God wants to do with us is so big. God wants to manifest himself in the earth. He is taking over the nation. He is taking over industries. He is taking over even the Muslims. Hallelujah. God is awakening different people from different culture, different ethnicity. And he is impressing on them who he is for there is a manifestation of God's presence that are producing results throughout the world and we can no longer deny him. He cannot be boxed in a corner to the opinionated mindset of man. is breaking out in regions and territory. is breaking out as a reformer. is transforming nation all by himself. Shall we praise the name of the Lord? And so when Joshua and Caleb saw what was at hand, they had an excellent spirit in them, an indomitable spirit. They understand the virtue and the power of God that lies in them the earthen vessel this was the power of God in them subduating territory killing out giants taking over kingdoms shall we bless the prophetic name of Jesus God want that same anointing to fall upon us so when we step into a territory our appearance is as the appearance of an horse we are fortified we are tenacious we are strong God wants us to have the mentality that when he send us into a region we are not going to run back but we are going to leap over their walls and run through their troops like mighty men of valor we are going to be so endowed with the spirit of God that any enemy challenge us we will tell them to their face that when I fall upon your sword devil it cannot cut me right because I'm already dressed in the armor I am positioned to take the territory may God give you that indomitable spirit as you connect to the almighty the reason why God sent this message tonight because many of us need to spread out we need to spread out we have become cowards ah, we are retrograding to the back and the enemy is taking over is even at the door and you're crying and you're asking where is God and God says what about the spirit that I give you what about the anointing that is upon your life I did not give you the anointing to retreat or to surrender I give you the anointing to conquer territories to take nation and many of you are saying God give me more give me more and God is saying I am not Alabashanda hallelujah gonna give you any more until you start exercising that which you have exercise that which you have and no longer walk in unbelief in the mighty name of Jesus and so Caleb and Joshua understood that we are already positioned for this great move of God there are some prerequisites that we need to follow and they were following in sync with what God is saying they were not intimidated by demonic influence they did not apologize to the demonic realm they were there to transform and to reform break laws of man and institutionalize the covenant of the God of Mount Sinai can I prophesy they understood that in order for them to conquer this land they had to be a people that is jealous after the things of God they were not in tune with the frequency of darkness because they did not want anything in them to alienate them from the power and the presence of God they wanted to continuously feed their spirit on positive things even they wanted to take into consideration previous victories that the Lord has enabled them to win when we're taking territories we cannot hang around people 
that are weak and inferior. We cannot run around people who don't know who they are in the Lord because when the devil see you coming, he's going to mess with some things in you to see if you really know who you are. The Bible tells us so many hallelujah stories about territories. Genesis 36 verse 40 says, and there were name of the chief who descended from Esau according to their clans, their territories and name. The tribal leader was Toma, Aliva and Javet. God wants you to take your territories. God wants you to take dominion. God wants you to come out of the weak, weak mentality. Rebo shut up. Poverty is in your bloodline. You were the one that caused to, called to set the trend. You were the one that caused called to take the territory you are the one the divine great mess is on the Holy Spirit has given you insight in your bloodline that nobody in your bloodline has passed this limit the Lord give you insight through prayer and fasting that there are things in your bloodline that needed to be abolished just like Gideon that needed to get certain altars out of his father's house so that the extraordinary things of God will not be hijacked in the realm of the spirit. Who am I talking to? Uh, many of you in the name of Jesus. Uh, God has given you insight as to some things in your bloodline, some things in your neighborhood, some things in your economy, some things in the ministry, the marriage, some things in your gifting uh, that has been amputated, held hostage by the power of darkness. Uh, uh, these are hell bound territories that stronghold has been formed by the demonic prince over that region and God is saying why are you crying is there no king in you Makabo Shai I am giving you the anointing to dispossess, to demote to annihilate, to command the chief prince of darkness to obey my spirit in you Rabba Kushada Bahaya so that your bloodline will no longer sit in darkness so that your nation will no longer sit in darkness because you are the light I am God I dwell in approachable light and if you are my children then my light is in you because I say unto you that I am the light of the world but in my absence you become the light you are the one that's going to illuminate and transform this world in my absence by my spirit says the Lord Rikabosha and so the Lord is saying there are territories to conquer. In St. Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 the Bible tells us that Peter was told by Jesus himself the truth about his origin the truth about himself uh, those men were just fishermen but God see in them power, hallelujah, full apostle, powerful man that he could use for export for the kingdom. Shall we praise God? There were territories for the apostles to take if they remained in that realm and dimension of just fishing and exploring things on the on the sea and not fulfilling their God-given calling, their God-given mandate. They would not have caused an uprising on the day of Pentecost according to Acts chapter 2. It's says that when these fishermen were converting, when these fishermen came to their purpose, they were instructed by the Holy Ghost to come into a place to receive the power to take territory, to take dominion over devils. The Bible says that when the day of Pentecost was fully come, hallelujah, that suddenly they heard a noise, Rabbi Shanda, as it was the, the sound of a rushing wind, and the Holy Ghost came upon them because of that endowment of power. Peter preached a sermon as he take territories. He preached a sermon that won over 3,000 souls. Then you understood from that scripture that Peter had entered his destiny because the time has fully come for him to start operating in his kingdom power and purpose. Now the same time is here for us when God is saying I am calling you to take territories 
stop whining, stop crying, stop talking about the process and the price that you have to pay. Because I have the Holy Spirit in you that will undo you with power to take the territory. Shout amen. We are entering into a new season. It's a destiny defining moment. It's a season like no other season you have ever seen before in your life. Suddenly it will be a time to enter into your destiny. Suddenly, whether you were ready or not, you're going to be plunged in. He said, I have called and equipped you to go into all the world. To go means the light has turned to green. When you are at the, at the stoplight and you see the light turn to green, you know it's time to go. God is sending the green light. It's time for you to go to fulfill that, that command. I am giving you a command, not a plea. I'm not weak. I'm not in heaven wondering what next to do. I have a purpose paint out for you. Shekho Rabaku Sakanda. I am the command in chief over your destiny. I am the command in chief over the territories that you're about to take. I want you to listen to my voice and obey my instruction. Who am I preaching to in the prophetic name of Jesus? There is not one territory, whether it's ministerial, marital, financial, every territory that God is anointing us to take over is occupied by something or someone. When one is going to fight in a battle, one must be prepared. Throughout the Bible, people who didn't have experience in fighting, they were just listening to the voice of God to know when to do this, how to do that. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the Lord speak in this season. Listen to his voice. It will, it will, it will cause you to make hallelujah, cons a constructive hallelujah decision and move syncopated with him as your commanding chief. Hallelujah. You cannot take a territory without the commanding chief. The Lord God Almighty is the commanding chief, is the host of heaven, is the God of the heavenly army. Rabbi Bashanda. He wants us to come into this dominion. Hallelujah. And command us to believe him in this season. I'm going to raise a prayer point. Oh Lord my God. Whatever it takes for me to walk in sync with what you're doing in this prophetic season Lord. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. I am a manifestation and an expression of God's word in the earth ram. So if I'm going to take territory and I am in sync with my commanding chief, whatever he speak, I am going to be the express manifestation of that which he speak in the earth ram. Praise the name of the Lord. For you and I were not fashioned after a God that cannot deliver. He's not the God of the tale. We are fashioned after the likeness of the God that is the superior authority over everything. You are not a weak vessel. God is in you mightily. Are you ready for the next level? Praise the name of Jesus. God is saying in order for you to go in and to take the territory, the glorious light must come in. It must come in to move, remove the darkness that covers you in previous time. The darkness that limits your ability to even discern what God is doing. That gross darkness that covered the people and caused them to be fearful and caused them to be timid. God is removing that cloaking cast off you so that you can see. Hallelujah. It's time for service. It's time to move into that new realm and place of power and authority. Who am I talking to in the prophetic name of Jesus? So Caleb and Joshua had a different spirit. Hallelujah. And I hear God says in my spirit, no, this is the battle of destiny. It's the battle of destiny. And some of us are at the finishing line. Some of us are saying, God, I just want one more word. I just want you to come confirm this word. I want you to confirm that this is what you're saying to me. And God says, yes, I am sending my prophet to you today to confirm that I am getting ready to display
claim my power if you believe that I've called and uniquely shaped and formed you to give you this territory then press in you are coming out of the wilderness and out of the dry place you're coming out of the desert place you're coming into the promise you're coming into the territory that God wants to give you hallelujah loaded with all the benefits that he promised that you will have received upon obedience to his word and so God said that he wants to revive you tonight because many of you are becoming so battle worn you are bewildered you need an, a revival you need an awakening you need God to remove the limitation of you you need to hear God clear am I talking you need God to amplify his voice just like oh he spoke to Moses and give instruction to Caleb and Joshua you want to make sure that you're hearing God because there's so much things that is coming against you you're challenged by principality over the regions you're challenged by cultural differences you're challenged by all kinds of powers hello bo rabasanda that wants to relegate you to the back but Paul spoke of the wrestling that take place and he said in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 that we were not wrestling with just mortal man we were wrestling with high ranking power the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood these are not the powers that we contend with hallelujah but principality powers rulers we're dealing with master spirit all kinds of spirit in realms and dimension so God want us to contend contend earnestly for the faith that was once believed delivered to the believers hallelujah God called us to contend God called us to walk up into the devil face and take back what belongs to us in the prophetic name of Jesus some of you are too fearful and the devil smell fear and he will manipulate you and he will make you even more scared many of you are backing on your saying God this is too big when God says I am a giant killer hallelujah so receive the big things that I've spoken I'm not going to reform because you don't you, you, you can't grasp what I'm saying you've got to believe what I'm saying even though it seems impossible because there's a realm of impossibility to man but with God all things are possible God is calling you to a territory it can be a, a, a spiritual mountain uh, a place where it's described as your sphere of influence that is determined by God in your society in your home in your ministry and in your marriage God wants you to mold the, and, 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 and come out of certain cultural barriers that have restricted people before who God had sent before to start revolution and to start revival God is using you to shape a particular mountain in your society. There are seven mountains. Uh, they are the pillows of our society. I call them the territories that God is anointing us to take in this prophetic season. One of the territory is in our society is the religious mountain. All kinds of things going on in the religious mountains. And God is anointing his ecclesia in this time. Haleboroko sata to shake things in the religious mountain that is anti-God anti-Christ empowered to disgrace the power of darkness and re-institutionalize the original things of God that he has planned and purpose for religion in this prophetic season so that is um, the territory number one that we need to take which is one of the, the, the mountain that construct our society hallelujah then we have the family mountain the family mountain families are under attack where are the intercessors marriages are under attack hallelujah where are the intercessors many of you are waiting until you are anointed by a pastor and he give you the platform to preach like Juanita Bynan and those great people but God is saying right in your closet right on your knees begin to speak to me about the nation begin to speak to me about your society because there are territories to 
conquer, cannot prophesy. Makabu Shanda Bahaya. They are the religious um, um, territory. They are the religious mountain. They are the family mountain. Then God says, you know what? There are things in the educational mountain that I need to equip some prophets. I need to equip some intercessors because all kinds of derbies and garbage are creeping into the educational facility that is empowered by Satan to destroy our children. So who will be one of the ones that I can equip to be a watchman over the educational industry to be praying Rabba Sanda Laba Sondo Lord send the spirit of excellence. Lord send the spirit of holiness. Send sanitization angel into various educational facility. God spare our children from immorality and all these things so that is uh, earlier territory number three territory number four is the business industry we have all kind of businesses Rebe Shanda that is established on blood and human flesh hallelujah aborted baby fetus God wants some intercessors to be praying Rabo Shanda Baha in the business sector in the business industry the next uh, hallelujah territory that God wants us to pay attention, which is very serious, uh, is the governmental mountain, the governmental territories. God is saying, do not wait. Now is the time to pray. Your prayer is going to demolish stronghold. Your prayer is going to unseat uh, strong man. Your prayers uh, is going to construct new timeline in the governmental sector. Then the next mountain that God wants us uh, to pay attention to is the art mountain and the media mountain. Those are the seven pillows that constitute a nation. And I reiterate, th these are the seven pillows, the seven spheres of our societies. Number one, religion. Number two, family. Number three, education. Number four, business. Number five, government. Number six, art and industry entertainment and number seven media mountain praise the name of the jesus god i need a prophetic voice to be coming out barking out the things of the kingdom hallelujah to bring reformation that will bring result on a global scale the holy ghost says the people is ready now for change and i am looking for kingdom ambassador kingdom representative I am looking for the nations of heaven to take their God-given dominion, to take their God-given jurisdiction serious, to take the anointing that I put on you serious and begin to rule and reign as a principality in the earth in the prophetic name of Jesus. The Bible says, when the Son of Man come, will he still find faith? Do you know that we have dimension of people? We have different kind of people that God speak about in the earth. We have two particular type that I will just give Give you a brief um, explanation hallelujah about them we have the goat nation we have the sheep nation you find that description of the goat and the sheep in st matthew 25 31 to 32 the bible says when the son of man comes in his glory and all the holy angel with him he will he will sit on the throne of his glory and all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate nation come on he will separate one from another. He will separate the sheep from the goats. Rebebe Koshata, the sheep will be those group of people who have been radically affected by the gospel of the kingdom. The sheep will be those who are who are received salvation, who was reconciled to the Lord, irrespective of their culture. Hallelujah. That did not alter them from agreeing with the standard of God. Their ethnic values and virtues did not block and stop God. Hallelujah. From coming in their life. Now the goat nation on the other hand is a different category of people. The goat nation on the other hand will be those who adopt hallelujah, all kind of worldwide views that stand against 
against God's moral standard. Halibo Shanda. The gold nations are those that will avoid the things of God. What did God say to the sheep and the goat in St. Matthew 25? May I ask? Jesus said unto the sheep that was on the right hand, Welcome into the, the, the promise. Welcome into the paradise. The, 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 this promise was prepared for you before the foundation of the herd. Because when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And the sheep were saying, oh, master, when did we see you? And did all these things. And Jesus said, what you did unto one, you did it also unto me. Praise the name of the Lord. Eloboroko shadabahaya. In the name of Jesus, and but the but the goat and they were they were they were they were they were um escorted into paradise. But the goat, on the contrary, Jesus said, "When I was hungry, you didn't feed me." So right away, you see the characteristic of the two nations. The goat uh, uh, um 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 operated like the like the 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 the. the, the Commanding chief Joshua, and 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 the, uh, um, I mean the sheep operated like King Jesus, but the goat was in total rebellion against God. Praise the name of Jesus. So there are territory. I'm saying all of this. You were not baptized in the Holy Ghost. You were not baptized in the name of God just to sit down and let the enemy have a, 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 a field day. Oh, Rabbi Sandam on live broadcast. Praise the name of Jesus. You were baptized. You were endowed with power. Halabashanda. To be a catalyst. To be some an extension of the arm of God. To go into nation. Jesus says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Why? There are territories to conquer. Go into all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Making disciples of nation. Why? For there are territories to conquer that involve you. You cannot stay passive. You cannot stay on the periphery looking. Oh, the pastor is doing it. You have to play your role significantly in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. Putting in your part that God has agreed with you before time begins that you will play the significant role in advancing his kingdom here on the earth. Who oh, I'm talking to under the blood tonight. I come to stir you up tonight because clearly you are more concerned about the devil than you are concerned about God. The Bible says that our God is the king of kings. is the lord of lords. He don't apologize to the devil. He said I'm taking nation and you're a part of what I'm doing in the prophetic name of Jesus. Why are you so concerned about the devil? I have a weapon that the enemy have not seen. I just want a man or a woman that will stand in the gap. I just want a man or a woman that will believe me. Because of your belief in me, destiny will be shifted. Nation will experience times of refreshing and revival. Nation will come from under cultic bond and oppression and depression. Nation will release into their God-given destiny. Because you dare to believe me, you will be a part of the transformational move of God written in the cosmic realm in the book of God's divine archives about the individual nations that God will deliver especially as we're in the closing of the age when the devil and his demons have masterminded so many plans, God says, I have called you to a territory. You're one of the seven mountains. Irrespective of whatever culture you're from, I have a work for you. I have power to release on you to operate in this dimension. Obviously, you thought that you were religious was just being good and being kind. But God says it's not that we're in a war. We're in a war with political demons. We're in a war with educational demons. We're in a war with powers that wants to spoil our children. We're in a war with demonic new casters. We're in a war because we're not playing our role in our society 
the enemy wants to take over but God sent me here tonight uh, to say unto you you're in the right place uh, at the right time to bring reformation and transformation uh, this is your realm of operation uh, and God says I'm getting ready to give you power shake on the because if the gospel is hid the Bible says if the gospel it is it is it from them that are perishing from them who the God of this age has blinded their eyes who do not believe for if they believe guess what the glorious light of the gospel of the kingdom is going to come upon them it's going to overtake them the glory of God who is even in the image of God will begin to shine upon them in the prophetic name of Jesus. Who am I talking to? I feel fire kusha da bahaya elololobosa some of you have been retreating and God said it's not time to retreat it's not time to surrender I have called you I have called you I have called you what more do you need let me take it from here like the video and share it only believe I hear the Lord said advancing 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 is not for novice halaborosha those that are advancing have failed many times. Failure is not good enough to disqualify you. Some of the most hallelujah, successful people have failed numerous times. And they continue to try and try and try until they succeed. I'm hearing God saying that you were brought into the kingdom for such a time like this. You were designed to shut up the power of of darkness uh, to take territories uh, to shatter it to irretrievable pieces uh, meaning the devil will look for what he was constituting against a nation uh, and he cannot find it because here come God kingdom ambassador whether you're Esther or Deborah whether you're Gideon or David whoever you are you have a territory to conquer Shandolobosa God wants to use you to paralyze the satanic antagonism uh, that is going on in your nation going on in your environment you are a child of destiny the hour has come and now is when the power of God will overcome you that you will trample upon the serpent you will trample upon the scorpion so that the way will be clear for your kingdom advancement God says I will use you to unseat all evil power sitting up on your region are you ready for the mantle many of you have been going to different kind of convocation different kind of prayer summit you have all, all kind of mantle dr trim mantle reinhard bunkle mantle all kind of mantles and you have all those mantles and all those mantles are sitting on you and you're way down for you have so much impartation and activation till the anointing even fighting you because you are uneasy. You can't sleep at night. Because you did not get those impartation to sit down. You did not get those man to sit to sit down. You get those man to, to do a work can I prophesy. You get those man to, to unseat the strong man. You get those man to, to advance the kingdom's welfare on earth. You get those man to, to enlarge the course of God's people that are going through trial whether spiritually, financially or physically shaking the robot you get those mantle to take back that which the enemy has stolen and sit down in a strong room you got those mantle and power to uproot evil things in your life that is coming against the will of God the purpose of God in the name of Jesus you get those mantle to terminate the powers of darkness so that you and your bloodline will not reap any more satanic harvest. We will only reap the things that are good, the things that God has for us. Enough demonic harvest. You get that mantle and anointing to kill the wolves, to kill the giants, to crush the serpent, to break the power of the scorpion. You get that power to kill the thing that ended your greatness. You get that power.
that all your imprisoned buried potential will come alive because that power will activate you in the mighty name of Jesus can I go deeper in the name of Jesus on tonight oh yes when God has given you an assignment and you refuse to take the initiative you refuse to do what God has called you let me give you a kingdom story in St. Matthew 21 verse 33 to 43 it says it tell you about a parable of the wine dresser he spoke this about the chief priests and the elders in St. Matthew 21 verse 23 Jesus spoke about another parable he said there was a certain landowner who planted a vineyard listen and set edges around it he dug it uh, dug the wine press and built a tower around it and at least uh, the vine dressers went in into a far country for then the vintage uh, drew near and he sent his servant to the vine dressers uh, that they may receive its fruit uh, but the vine dresser took his servant and beat one killed one and stole one again he sent another servant uh, that first day and they said likewise to him they did likewise to him uh, the last of all he sent the son to them saying that maybe they will respect my son but when the vine dressers saw the son do you know what they say they said let us gang him and kill him because this is the ear come let us kill him and cease his inheritance what am I saying if God has given you something to do and you refuse to do it he has given you something to bill you refuse to bill it this is what he says the kingdom of God will be taken from you and will be given to a nation that's bearing fruits of a come on somebody it's time to bear fruit it's time to go out and say God you tell me that if I don't do this you're gonna take my anointing you're gonna take this you're gonna take that I cannot afford for you to take this from me I am making a step by faith if I perish I perish God the rest is up to you do I have anyone like that under the sound of my voice there is a territory I feel God up in my mind. De, 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 holy, 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 holy is the Lord. When Moses was sent to take a territory, Moses said, God, I know you have spoken, but I need you to do more than just talk. I need your glory, Bashandai, to escort me into this territory. What will the people say, God, if they see me just coming to say, I am Moses, I come to do this, but they don't see any expressive manifestation of the God who I say I represent at work. Won't they mock me, God? Won't they think that I am being mischievous? So show me your glory, Bakaborokosia. Because in your glory, it produces result. If your glory goes with me, I will not be mocked. If your glory goes with me, no one can block me. No one can stop me. No one can. Stop what you are about to do in me. If your glory goes with me, I can run through troops and leap over walls. If your glory goes with me, I will be victorious. In the name of Jesus, is there anyone on the sound of my voice that God has given you some great things to do but the enemy is on your trail do it mean you quit no do it mean you turn back no do it mean you get frustrated do it mean you forget about what God is saying and just behave like a normal person less what you cannot hide the mark is on you it's an indelible mark and even when you retrograde and stay behind anywhere you show up the devil know who you are because he knows what you're carrying. He hear about the announcement that has been proclaimed over you in the spiritual realm. So might as well you humble yourself and ask the Lord to train you and ask the Lord to keep you and to give you grace. Can somebody shout, give me grace, 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 grace. Take 
speaking territory is not child play. You need to understand that every territory that you have in view to take something or someone has occupied that territory for months, for years, for decades. And you come with your anointed self that God has given me a word to take this territory. You're going to come and confer with demons and you're going to come and confer with also human entities. Praise the name of Jesus. Shako Rabanda Bahaya. We have some prerequisite. Hallelujah. That we need to observe. I, 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 I said this is like a part two to part one. When God is giving you a territory, you must be absolutely sure that God has spoken. Because there are instant in the battle. You don't have time to run. You don't have time to look back. All our eyes must be centrally focused on God for the prophetic reformation and the prophetic things that we need to do in the name of Jesus. God of ways to reveal the hidden of the camp of the enemy. Prophets hallelujah nowadays cannot stand oh, Rabbi Shanda, just to, to just be still and allow God to fine tune what he's doing. Everybody think that they need to help God. God don't need our help. We need his help. There is a time coming for birthing. There is a time coming to accelerate in a new realm of power can I prophesy these regions that we need to take we got to come together as the corporate body of Christ not as in um, single individual unit we need to come together as the corporate body of Christ and discuss strategy and how we can overtake these kinds of giants that are in our land can I prophesy God says I'm giving you the territory yes I'm giving it to you is ready now to give you but you have to come to a higher place in God which I call the higher dimension in God what is a dimension a dimension is another realm that exists hallelujah it is called like a parallel dimension that exists oh God outside the normal realm hallelujah like God live in a realm and a dimension that is separated from this dimension that we traverse and so in order for us to get this mantling and power we need to come up higher and the spirit of the Lord is crying out for us to come up in higher dimension some of us are higher dimension for us is higher learning to make us understand properly what God is doing so that we can be established in all the goodly things that God has called us. The Bible speaks about the heavenly as a dimension. The heavenly places and all the elements are higher dimension than the earth. These revelatory insight need to be absorbed. Hallelujah. In us as believers believers once we are able to once we are able to understand or define the terms of of of, of what God wants us to do that we can quickly realize what is required of us by God to operate in this dimension so one of the things I want to say in order for us to interact with other people and to come into purpose, we have to come out of the me, 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 my, 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 um, realms and dimension. That is a dimension that kills gifting and calling because everything that God has given us is to cooperate in synchronicity with the other parts of the body, the other parts of the kingdom. Hello, Boroko Sata. Are you ready to go to the higher dimension? Hallelujah. That you saw the early church operated. All those apostles and prophets were one on one accord. When the Holy Ghost come on one, every facet, hallelujah, of the fivefold ministry receive that anointing. It was not an accident why God wanted every one of the fivefold, hallelujah, faculty or facilities 
place to be present in the upper room. It was not a coincidence. It was not an accident. After Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciple went there to tarry. Hallelujah for the Holy Spirit. According to Acts chapter 1 verse 9 to 13, when the Holy Spirit arrived on the day of Pentecost, all shackles were broken of the mind of the man of God. They were activated and ready for power. They were ready to go to, 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 to location to take territories. The day of Pentecost, we understood. The Bible said when it was fully come, they were all assembled together in one place. Then suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing or a violent wind. Tempestuous blast that filled the old house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them, resembling fire, which were separated and distributed that set on each one of them and this is a quotation from the AMPC Bible that means individually they were endowed with the power and the frequency of heaven for each one of them at specific assignment there were territories that these apostles had to conquer come on even though you're connected to me and I am connected to you we all need our individual touch our individual impartation and activation from the master himself and that is the role of the Holy Spirit that dimension that the apostles operate in was different from the normal way they ascended into another realm who and that realm forced them to manifest what was in the 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 the, 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 the the, the heavenly realm. They were speaking and, and giving utterances from another dimension. Praise the name of Jesus. We need to understand that when God wants us to take our um, territory, He's going to endow us with the power. Understand that both the natural and the supernatural go together. The natural thing occur as a part of the natural courses or event of the world. So that is why when Jesus was to come in the earth, He could not come as a spirit because it's coming into a physical natural world, a physical and natural realm, no more the supernatural realm, so he had to come in a vessel that was conducive for that realm which is the earth realm, praise the name of Jesus, he couldn't come as a ghost talking to us, nobody would listen hello boroko shikaya he had to come in what is required for him to function in the physical realm. Praise the name of Jesus. Taking territory is, act, is, 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 is an act of faith, dimension of creation, and, 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 and the spirit is, is, is something that we need to learn children of God. We need to take this thing seriously. Too much of us just want to settle down into this dimension. We don't want to bother to try to even comprehend the things that, that are out there. You need to ask God question. And are you going to fulfill your God-given destiny if you don't understand what you're called to do? Beginning today, I prophesy and legislate that God is moving you out of this place of dormancy. There is a divine assessment that is taking place that cannot be ignored. Ah, there are arguments in the realm of the spirit relating to the territories that you must conquer in the earth, being that vessel of God, the vessel that God has chose to bring the extraordinary things into the ordinary realm. Can I prophesy throughout the Bible we have seen in different um, 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 biblical narrative that every man and woman that had encounter with God literally was bringing things from the supernatural realm in the physical realm. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the key things to, to do in moving straight forward in this earth realm to occupy and to take the territory is to know, number one, that you're called from God to do this. Number two, you have the anointing. You are qualified to take. Number three, come out of the unrealistic zone of emptiness and chaos and confusion and tap into faith which will support your spirit 
it, hallelujah, and give you that depth of reality, trust, and peace as you conquer these things. The, the scripture talk about many things, hallelujah, that could provoke us. Hallelujah. Men who had no other choice than to confront their giants, uh, like David, the shepherd boy. Hallelujah. Many of us have giants in our life uh, that we have to conquer in order to take the territories. Hallelujah. And they are not going to give up this territory easy. So God is calling us. Spare yourself the pain by just accepting that I am qualified and it doesn't matter how the devil say things in me or to me or send people, raise up people against me to make me feel like I'm a nobody. God says I am qualified for this that he's getting ready to do in the earth. Who am I talking to? In the prophetic name of Jesus. So Caleb and Joshua did possess an indomitable spirit. They did possess a spirit that does not take no for an answer. God wants us to have that kind of determination when we're going in to take territories in the prophetic name of Jesus. So tonight I'm going to pray a prayer of release. I sent so many things in the prophetic forecast of what's getting ready to happen in 2020. Many of you, your divine greatness will manifest. Come on. That thing that you have been being prepared by God to fulfill. It is getting ready to manifest in 2020. And so God wants a classic ex ex exposition. Hallelujah. Of what he's saying to you through the Holy Spirit. So that you will comprehend everything wonderfully. I sense that this year is going to be a year of ease. What do you mean by a year of ease, prophetess Anna? I mean that the strong man and the strong old and those power that used to resist you, they have been eradicated. They have been removed. And so it's time now to go in and to possess your possession. I believe the paradigmic shifting has taken place. And we are seeing things coming in alignment. And God wants us not to go back into that passive mode anymore. God wants us now to get up and to be willing. Rekebo shatabaha to go into the promise, to take dominion. There are 15 of you that I'm seeing right now. The shifting is taking place drastically. It is so intense these last months. You have just gotten a little break in the last three days, and by tomorrow to Thursday, you're going to be plunged back into another dimension of spiritual warfare. What is God saying? God is saying, stay where the fight is. Do not give up. The enemy wants you to come out of the fight. But God says, stay in the fight. Because why you are fighting is because you are engaging the enemy. To take the territory that he has stolen. So that's why the fight is going on. God is giving you the answer to your question. Stay in the fight fight. Do not readjust anything. Hallelujah. Ask God for permission to come to him constantly about things that you need more grace, you need more strength, you need more anointing and it will be bestowed unto you. Do not adjust or conform because you're in a fight. The answer is no. It's not time to conform. It is time to stay right there and fight the battle and dispossess the enemy and take your territories in the prophetic name of Jesus. I am so excited. So I want to pray for some of you on tonight that God is giving you territories. Some of you are getting new homes and thank God that you were prepared 
hallelujah, a four time, hallelujah, where you were was a, was a battle zone. You were battling all kind of demonic spirits and you were up at night praying. Those were preparation, hallelujah, preparation period. So now that you are graduating from this level to another level, God is going to give you now this new mantle that you will reign in this new place of authority. You will reign in this new place of power. You will reign. You will not come down. You are doing a good work. God is with you. Ha! Ah, shout hallelujah in the prophetic name of Jesus. I am going to pray for us tonight. It's not going to be a long prayer, but it's going to be a well-constructed prayer. That wherever you are at the anointing that you need hallelujah to empower you to stand and to take that territory. I'm going to pray for you that after tonight the oil will run on you. You will be launched into your season. You will know that this is your season and there's nothing the power of darkness, the kingdom of darkness can do about it. Can we pray? We want to start by asking the Lord to forgive us for being cowards. The coward is spirit that overtake us because because there were so many things that was happening to us. We were afraid. Rabo Shanda. We're going to ask the Lord to forgive us in the prophetic name of Jesus. Father, by your power, we know that no impossibility can stand before you, O oh Lord. We come to ask your forgiveness for being cowards. Makabo Shanda for listening to the lies of the adversary. Makabo Shata Yaba. Iloboroko Sika. You have called us to take territory. The Bible says that for us and our children, we are for sign and wonder. Father, this is our launching out season, Lord. Eleboruka Satayama Kusia. It's the season of new thing. In the prophetic name of Jesus. Oh Lord, change the time and the season that we will come into new time and season. We ask that you will destroy every demonic timeline, every demonic time loon. Makabo shata iloboroko sikondolobo kusia. Come on, somebody begin to repent right now. Father, I did hallelujah walk in fear. Father, I did did walk in fear. I backed down when I was supposed to eat the enemy straight head on. I had my doubts, God. Come on, somebody. Like the video. Share the video. Like the video. Share the video. Kulabasiya. Kundolobosiya. Rabanditi. Kushandabahaya. Come on, somebody. Like the video and share it right now. Makaliborusha. Balikataya. Ilobosanda. Father, we pray in the spirit that you will begin to lose the anointing up an us. We command every cloaking devices and cloaking mechanism of the power of that. I'm going to pray a real good prayer for you tonight. The first thing we're going to do after we repent, we're going to start divorcing some things. Father, right now, as I stand in the office of the apostle, I ask right now for anointing over regions and territories. I ask for 123 million angels to enter into my Holy Ghost, my electric shield. Robocosata, 
Boshanda. Mighty God, I ask that you will begin to kill manipulation. We're going to pray against manipulation first. Every manipulation, God, to manipulate. Hallelujah. Mean to mark, to annoy, to harass. Rebe, shadow, bali, buruku, sa. The first thing we want to ask, oh God, that power, that spirit that is manipulating us, manipulating our bodies, manipulating destinies, manipulating ministry, manipulating visions, manipulating El Rabo Soto, manipulating the bioelectric aura of our human body, manipulating our homes, our children. We ask for the fire present to kill manipulation. Kill manipulation of cells, manipulation of destiny, manipulation of mind, manipulation of health, manipulation of family, gifting, calling, purpose, anointing. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we call on you, my where is the God of Elijah huh? that answer it by fire we ask that you will begin to kill all kind of manipulation and here is some manipulations that we want you to kill for us we want you to kill electric manipulation bioelectric when I begin to pray this kind of prayer saints every manipulation in any other realms that we are identifying we're going to break it oh yes we're going to ask the Lord to break it off us in the prophetic name of Jesus come on begin to pray in the spirit we cannot go into the promise and take territories if we are being manipulated by the devil we want every manipulation to die by fire to die by fire makashata makashata kalabasata we want the manipulation to die we want it to crush we want free course ah let me let me define what manipulation means Manipulation is the action of manipulating something in a skillful manner. To manipulate, oh Rabasanda Kasata, hallelujah, is to literally mock us. Rebe Shanda. So we are calling on the God that answered by fire. Those manipulation in the realm of the spirit that is manipulating your destiny, manipulating your purpose, manipulating me and my children, manipulating manipulating your gifting and calling it's time for it to die Rabo Shatter come on we're gonna take them out one after a time Father we ask in the name of Jesus to come into the court of heaven we ask for the blood of Jesus to clear the part Shandaba Kaliboruka Sataya we ask oh God to approach you concerning demonic manipulations in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yahushua Amashaya. We ask that occultic manipulation die. Makabo Sata, UFO manipulation die. Extraterrestrial manipulation die. Satanic manipulation die. Astrological manipulation die. We ask that every electromagnetic manipulation will die, Father. We ask that angels that kill these things, Robo Shitalabasunda, will be released right now in the name of Jesus. Sorcery manipulation die. Magic manipulation die. Electromagnetic manipulation die. Paranormal manipulation die. Electric partner die. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask that you will remove bioelectricity manipulation of our brains and cells and thought through electrical impulse to the brain. 
Shanda ribo kusata. Rebe kusata. That the enemy wants to use to cause imbalance and even a siege Lord. We ask that every bioelectrical, hallelujah, pollution in our bodies that are manipulating us biologically die in the prophetic name of Jesus. We ask that bioelectromagnetism controlling of our mind to manipulate us I remove its capability, remove its ability to manipulate us, take its current out of us and every era of our body that is a target, whether it's the heart, the muscles, the nervous system, that they're using to manipulate us. So we are like grasshoppers, afraid to go in and take the territory, Lord. Bioelectric energy manipulation in our body, we command and demand that it catch the fire of God. You angels, Rebe Shikan Dalabahaya, that is responsible for removing bioelectric energy drains from our body, appear, appear, appear. In the name of Jesus, remove every manipulation, be it spiritual or physical, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove bioelectric aura from over us. Remove electrical enhancement from the demonic realm. Remove electrical walls, electrical manipulation, electro reconception, electro neural impulse and manipulation, neural vampirism, manipulation, bioenergy manipulation, ching manipulation, electricity manipulation, life force manipulation, rebon dali kushan dalamakusaku, bio power you know no impossibility oh lord launch us out in the realm and dimension of the spirit this is our breaking forth season this is our breaking out season oh god change time and season for us give us profitable time and season in the name of jesus oh god of wonder do what cannot be described by mortal man. Do miracles that will shut up the skeptic. That will shut up the arguments of man. Sheko Rabasaku. Do a new thing in us as we are obeying you in getting up and position ourselves to take territory. We ask for breakthrough now. We ask for healing now. We ask for victory now. We we ask, oh God, for miracle now. We ask for new season now. Kushade, Dobosa, Ilobosa. Dedicate us again to your will and to your purpose. We ask for healing now. Turn around now. Blessing now. We ask for the glory now. Activate your power now. Perform miracle now, God. I feel the Kushade Bedo, Sakuriai, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, favor us by fire now. Let your glory come and change our story as we position ourselves to take the, the, the land. Oh God, remove sickness from our bodies. Every demonic chain of slavery that is preventing us. Break, break, break. Shoboria sang kuriabasukua. Rebash kadali borukasaya. In the name of Jesus. Father, cause every ancestral curse to be broken. God, collective embargo break. Dryness break. Retrogression go. Limitation break. Stagnation break. Demotion break. Wrong alignment and assignment break. Shoboroko Sataya Badushkai. We call on the boom of destruction to sweep out the derby to sweep out the residue of the evil one. We bind
great stubborn strong man also enemy also wickedness environmental wickedness geographical wickedness covenant of sudden death covenant that is programming the sun sickness that is programming the sun in the moon and in the star we come against you with the blood tonight oh yes rabako sheke badodobosa mighty god we come any sickness program in the sun any sickness program in the moon any sickness program in the stars oh for though i walk in the flesh i wrestle not against flesh and blood the weapon of my warfare not corner but mighty true jesus to the pulling down of strong ola casting down imagination and every eye thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god taking into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ i war in the spirit of elijah makabo shanda i command every eye thing according to second corinthians 10 verse 4 that is exalting itself against the knowledge of god to calm down i stop into power and glory i declare your name to over Gibor, to over Gared. you are the mighty man of war you are el shaddai to over sabor i suit up myself afresh with the old armor of god I begin to engage the king of glory. I begin to engage the son of man. I begin to engage the power of the most high God. I engage you. Let me experience your power. Let me experience your anointing. I engage you at this time. That evil stranger, an unclean spirit will bow in my presence in the name of Jesus I command and demand for a stirring of the Holy Ghost I command and demand for healing for restoration I command and demand protection I command and demand Holy Ghost your peace for you come into our life to give us hope because you're declared the wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace the high priest according to the order of Melchizedek you're the lion of the tribe of Judah you're the eye in the middle of the wheel you're the bread of life you're the fountain of living water you're the seven eyes Holy Ghost that look through and for the earth you're the seven spirit of God you're the bridegroom you're the good shepherd you're the father you're the advocate we ask for an interface with you in the prophetic name of Jesus Holy Ghost regardless of where we are God you're the son of man you love us king of glory you stand at the door knocking and we're opening up to receive you to come and sup with us in the prophetic name of Jesus we determine to have an interface with you right now not by might not by power but by your holy spirit right god we ask to advance us into your power god strip off demonic devices of our body of our system satan the lord rebuke you we pull up the documents even the hidden ones that is blocking the move of God in our lives. Oh God, we command Rebo Shakaya, a paradigmic shifting in our body, soul, and and spirit mighty God we ask that anything that is hindering us from going into realm with you any power that was sold to our bloodline that sold us out to them and they're owning us in captivity we want to see your glory we want to see you lifted up God so anything 
that is entering us any clone copy any document covenant contract vow stating dedication rebe satora ribasu ilia shonda iloborosa kalabarosha arise O oh god and demonstrate your power whatever and our ability to have relationship with you to have connection with you to hear you to sense you to see you to communion with you ole borosh ilabarushi kale borusha we identify this as an illegal entity we bind and block and stop it we command no more manifestation of this entity in the name of jesus holy ghost raba shandi dibo raba iloborusha makanda we ask for the anointing to tread upon serpent and scorpion we command all demonic entity that will try to escape or flee into any place where they can stay there for a time and a season that they will hide from this deliverance we ask that all worm all all portal all escape world will be shut down in every realm in every dimension timeline frequency planet vibration constellation universe holy ghost we ask that the war house of the lord will be open and as we tread upon serpent and scorpion and over dangerous places shakali for the weapons of a warfare not corner but mighty true God to the pulling down a strong old casting down imagination and never I think that exalt themselves we resist oppression we resist untimely death we resist cancer diabetes tumor of every kind oh shaya we are children of destiny we identify ourselves with Christ Christ is our identity we shut down the weapon and the power base of the enemy with the hypersensual light of god we target their strong room we target their strong house oh god punish all the evil also banish in the prophetic name of jesus hallelujah borat kurobos yalaba ureash urobosa we ask that you will sweep out with the broom of destruction every defilement planted by the enemy in our bodies in our home oh god rebo shanda bahai answer us by fire come on somebody answer us beginning tonight god we will step into new realm new dimension of power come on somebody ayo robo sokondo lobo siando lobo sa we resist infirmity we resist abortion we resist death we resist lack we resist impoverishment rebo shada baha the lord prosper the work of our hands who am i preaching to rabba shada ba sata liboru kasa we divorce stagnation we divorce retrogression we divorce poverty we divorce lack we divorce sabotage we divorce makabo shakuri abasanda satanic intelligence satanic network we divorce demonic timelines satanic agenda we divorce demonic dimension we divorce demonic future we divorce demonic inheritance we deactivate them and put them to sleep in the pro- for the name of Jesus raba baba 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 we overrule the verdict of hell we overrule the belly of hell the gate of hell the foot of hell the mouth of hell in the name of Jesus we bind demonic altars we slay satanic priests we destroy them with the fire of god the finger of god the word of god the power of god the anointing of god we withdraw our benefit from the oppressors and the oppressions Makasata, let the power to chase the glory of God fall on us. We incubate ourselves with the glory of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, the word of God, the spirit of God. Elo Shanda Bahaya. We thank you for the cloud of witness. We thank you for the glory.
glory of God. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for removing obstacles. Come on, somebody. We thank you for the refreshing in our spirit. We thank you for breaking curses. We thank you for breaking curses. We thank you for breaking the strong room of the strong man. We thank you for destroying every instrument of disappointment and death. We thank you for rendering every attack null and void. We thank you for family. We thank you for protection. We thank you that our future is sealed in the blood. We thank you for answering our prayer. We thank you for heavenly resources. We thank you that we are created in your image and God we will not surrender ourselves to the enemy. We stand against satanic oppression, depression, frustration. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we thank you for breakthrough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't play with my anointing tonight. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for dominion. Thank you for power. Thank you for anointing. Thank you for victory, God. Victory, victory. Victory over long standing battle. Victory in our homes. Victory in our marriage. Victory on the job. Victory in our children. Victory. Yeah, the Holy Ghost said victory, 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 victory. Victory in our health. Victory in our finance. Victory. Shamaleborusa, Idi Shebosa, Kalabadusa, Yamama, Sheke, Loborosa, Ileboro, Shakandi Diosa, Victory in that marriage, Victory, 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 Oraba Sokusha, Idamanusha, Ilaborosa, We're walking in overflow, We're walking in the well transfer, We're walking in glory, We're walking in the power of God, We're walking in the victory of the cross. We thank you that our walk and our talks are shifting atmosphere. We're advancing in prayers. We're advancing in power. We're moving in apostolic realm to bring the kingdom to earth. We're activating blessing. We're activating mantle. We're activating the prophetic. We're activating the awakening of the prophetic generation. We are activating the awakening of the prophetic worshiper. We are activating and causing them to know who is the king of glory. We are activating the power of the cross, the power of the world. We are activating the seven mountain. We are unlocking the glory to operate in this dimension. In the name of Jesus, we are activating and losing the voice of the blood. Let the voice in the blood of Jesus begin to speak healing, restoration, deliverance, manifestation. We activate the spirit of praise, the spirit of love, the spirit of power, the spirit of a sound mind. We activate longevity. We activate perfect wholeness. We activate breakthrough. We activate rebale borusha makutari. We activate the blood of Jesus. We ask that the blood of Jesus will go to the foundation that bring limitation and bondage. We send the acts of fire to plantation and foundation and limitation and inheriting satanic embargo. We send the fire against the grip of darkness, the power of darkness, the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Cleanse us now. Cleanse our body, soul, and spirit. Cleanse our mind. Cleanse our home. Cleanse. Oh, Shabbatos. Kadabalo. Riasa. In the prophetic name of Jesus. We command open doors. We command open doors. We command unprogressive labor to be removed. We command spiritual contamination to be flushed out. In the prophetic name of Jesus. In Jesus' prophetic name, I pray amen and amen. I want to go into the prophetic just a little I'm looking for instrumental. We're going to go into the prophetic just a little.
Let us begin to worship, worship, worship. Ah, and the la and the la and the la Worship him, ha ha ha. Here and the on the la on the la Ah, I can hear the spirit of the Lord saying, "It is time. It is time to act." It's not time to procrastinate. As the Lord to amplify his voice, amplify his voice, amplify his voice. Esha iloshi andala basundo kerebeando lo bosi. Amplify your voice. I want to hear you. Aha. Shake a la barrio si andor bossi candaya. Shende le borosia. Amplify, amplify, amplify. Kere de yondo lolo bossi, yondo lolo boshia. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice? You need the Lord to amplify his voice. I want to hear a voice behind me saying, This is the way. This is the way, this is the way, I want to hear the voice behind me, this is the way, walking in, walking in, I want to hear the voice behind me, saying this is the way. This is the way, this is the way. Ask the Lord to amplify his voice. Shande le borusi andoro bokusi. Era la shi andora. I want to hear the voice behind me. Say this is the way. This is the way, walk in it. Shendala barosi kundo robosi and barosi. Hey, ba 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 ba. This is the way. This is the way. I wanna hear the voice behind me saying, "This is the way." This is the way. Sometimes you don't want to rush in. Kerio sandoli alesi andoria. Shandoro. This is the way. Is there anyone on the sound of my voice? Amplify his voice. Shalabaloria sandiria. If you really help me praise him tonight, we're going to tap into a glory realm. Are you ready? Are you ready to go into the next level? Do you want to tap into it? Do you want to tap into the glory realm? Is there anyone that just feel empty and you just want to be filled tonight? You want the Lord to minister to you tonight? Ele you want to you want to go in a deep place. You want to go you want to go where the rivers of the spirits are under. Shandurasi. Come on, hope it up. He wants to come in. He wants to amplify. All I'm hearing is amplifying my voice. Shandurasi. Wonderful name it is. I want to speak to a few of you on tonight that I know it's your season to walk in the dimension of glory and power. 
you have been in this place for a long time. You're dry. You want to go deeper. You want a personal revival. Quitting is not what you want to do, but the battle is so intense. If you're that person said, I am the one, I want to prophesy to you tonight. I want to allow the Holy Spirit just to open up your file. Share share the video that's very bad like the video and share it like the video share it two of you only two person like the video like the video and share the video we want to go into the prophetic now i'm waiting on some of you to like the video and share it only two shares come on you can do better than that The first person I want to talk to on tonight that I sense this message is so much for you is Beverly Kramer. Which is interpreted the giants in your land is not an indication that I have left you or abandoned you to the dictates of your enemy, say the Lord. Oh, Rabba Sakun Dolobo Sakur Yamande Kesia Baba. The words that you have spoken in the time of your ignorance has formed a demonic timeline, and you have been living and receiving a satanic inheritance. Tonight is the night when you are going to destroy the timeline that you have created with your words. That word negative utterance that came out of you, says the Father. God says his mercies are over and over you. For the great destiny that you were called for. Hallelujah. Has challenged the very core of your fate and your existence. But God says I'm moving you into rest and establishment. Oh, I will cause your weary soul to rest. I will cause you to walk by the rivers of water where I will subdue the fear and the unrest in you. I have seen a lot of insight where the enemy has been trying to send a lot of alarms and some of them are so false. They are false alarm because he wants to get you unstable and unready when God has put you in a season of preparation and readiness for that which is a about to take your life. The Lord says, Be still and know that I am God. Your destiny is more important to me than it is to you. And I am the one who is giving you the wisdom and the understanding to fulfill that destiny that I've called you to do. The Lord says, From the month of February, the date is the 12th of February, 2 30 p.m. There are going to be unusual impressions of the spirit upon your mind, upon your soul. Some of it you will be hearing, be quiet. It's time to talk. It's time to call this person. God says, I'm impressing things on you because the enemy will have you to, to forget very important things. So God is going to do a lot of impression on you because these are things that you cannot afford 
to overlook. And from the 12th of February, May, February, March, April, May to June, there will be a lot of new activities in your life. Some of them is going to make you so wary. But because in this season when there was not a lot of activities, God has given you a, 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 a um, 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 tenacity, velocity, and strength. You have much more strength than you know. So in that time when you will be much more busy, hallelujah, you will not have to um, um, fear that this will be out of place. That will be out of place because God is going to send you a lot of destiny helper. And God says, be faithful to what I am giving unto you. Already you have some insight about some of the things, but um, it will become more clear as you apply yourself to what I'm saying, says the Father. Michael Karov, Westerful, Westerful, God is saying, I'm unlocking wealth. One of your passion is to is to is to have money. I see that there are a lot of business in you. I see a entrepreneurship anointing on you. However, the Lord is saying that you are not limited because of your geographical location. So you may be saying, I may have to travel to the United States of America, England, Europe, or Dubai. I'm here in Dubai in my spirit before I can really um, tap into certain dimension of uh prosperity and anointing and God said Dubai is good but oftentimes the covenant that people make with me before they go to Dubai hallelujah is, is, is very different from when they get there and God says make a covenant with me and differ not to pay because I'm watching over everything that you're doing in this season I have purpose to bless you and to make you great however it seems like the things are not happening at the speed that you um, have, have aspired it to happen and sometimes you get frustrated because you see less people who possess less class than you in terms of knowledge and even understanding they're getting ahead but God said you don't know their sources Rakabo Shandala Bahaya. And God says He's going to open the door for you, Michael, to go to Dubai. I hear Dubai, Dubai, Dubai in my spirit. It will be for a mopping. Don't go and overspend your time and spoil up things that God wants to do futuristically in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I see you in a field, Michael, with a lot of basketballers. I see a lot of men that God is getting ready now to catapult them into foreign country. And I don't know if you like football or what. I'm seeing a, a gang in yellow apparel. Um, they were having um, this, this yellow thing and they were on the field. And God said, do you see them? And, it, and I said, yes. And he said, this also didn't know that Michael is filled with energy and, 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 and he is living beneath certain privileges. So I am going to open up the door for Dubai and the next door God will open after you show God your faithfulness when you go to Dubai by not overstaying. Again, I'm reiterating, do not overstay because you will be tempted to stay longer. And that is going to spoil things for you because there are other countries. He said, I am into football. <laughs> oh, my kid. I see. Because I see. I don't know much about you, but I see like, like a trainer in you. And I see that you were supervising some guys. They were all dressed in yellow on, on, a, on, a, on a football field. And God is saying that, you see, this man is full of strength and resistance. So I am going to use him. I'm going to send him to Dubai. There are three nations that you must tread upon before your departure on the earth. It's the United States of America. It's UK and it's Dubai. Kadobo Shandala Bahaya. So get yourself ready. God is, 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 is causing you to pioneer with other people from different countries ethnicity to fulfill this dream and 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 yes it's gonna um can i also prophesy something that i'm seeing michael michael get yourself ready to open an it center i am seeing uh, that um you 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 have envisioned something to do with the internet service can you um confirm that that you you would like to open an internet service and uh, be an internet provider he said i'm in um kuwait kuwait at 
the moment. Yes. Yeah, so do, have you ever envisioned to open like a, a, a internet service where people come out? I see a lot of computers on desks. I'm seeing a lot of computer. He said, yes, please. Um, um, I want to be a little bit elaborate because I see that God, like 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 for university students that want to study but they don't have the internet um, facility and computer facility, I see that God wants you to open a facility that provides both um, computer services, um, IT services, and also I'm seeing that this will be a, a very productive, lucrative um, business. Does that mean anything to you, Michael? Because that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit in the prophetic name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I also want to speak to um, Ulda, Ulda Seer Kushan Dalabahaya. The Lord says this is the season of um, taking careful note of the operation of deception in and around my 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 people life there are people that i'm getting ready to anoint you to talk to in this season and some of these people are rebellious and because of their rebellion it has caused them to miss hallelujah numerous times of refreshing and yes my servant i have called you i have endowed you with the power i've endowed you with the gifting and the lord shows me that the enemy wants to have your physical body can you confirm that the Lord is showing me that the enemy wants to put some affliction on your body but you don't have this is not something that you're going to spend long term time going to doctor anymore if you have not started it will not be the pattern that God wants to put you on God says you must call his name you vivave and inject that name into the era of discomfort, the era of sickness. He said, call on my name, Yuve Vave. Release my name into that area. Come on, come on, all the seer, the mighty um, seer of the Lord. Um, you need to, you Vave. There is a pain in this era. I, I, I inject your name in this era. Kusha da Bahaya. For wherever your name is proclaimed, you're going to be that and more. So if your name is proclaimed, um, where this pain is, you're going to be the healer. You're going to be the one that sued the ear. You Vave. Every attack that wants to come upon my breathing era. You Vave. Every grip upon my heart and my, um, my digestive system I prophesy over you you the seer that this is your time of divine healing all the chemical in your bodies that are formulas and equation that the enemy has been messing with I stand in the office of the apostle to command those formulas and equation to be aligned, to be sanctified. Can I prophesy? Holy Ghost, I command and demand the angels that are skilled in balancing formula and equation in your bodily system to appear, to extract poison, to extract poison, to extract serpentine poison and scorpion poison in the prophetic name of Yahushua, Jesus the anointed one in the name of Jesus. I see a picture where the enemy wants to put you into a wheelchair. Halebo Shanda. And, and it's going to be like a gradual thing. So um, see your um, holder. This is the word of the Lord to you. Take care of your bones. I'm hearing osteoporosis. I am hearing osteoporosis, which is a degeneration of the bone. God says, get on the, it now because the enemy wants your bone to be crystallized. God, show me an a, a, a x-ray vision of your bone being um, um, dry, like the, um, cripple, um, cripsy. I am seeing that. And the Lord is showing me that that is an early set of osteoporosis. So I should tell the woman of God, start getting everything that nourishes your bone so that what the enemy wants to do with your bone will not come to fruition. 
in the prophetic name of Jesus. I only have a few minutes to go. I want, I want, I want to continue to speak. A pro did the Lord, did the Lord confirm the word, um, Michael? He said, all that you prophesied about me is true. Will we give God praise for that? I want to thank God for what he's doing in you at this time. But I also want to tell God that there's a lot of things that you have to do in your nation and, 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 go, and also in your family. And so I'm sorry, Michael, there's no, there's no shortcut in this one. You have to go through whatever is necessary for you to go through because you are carrying the destiny of your bloodline in you. I want to speak to Alison Reed Martinez. Alison, by from from the from the month of February, I, I'm just hearing God say book writing. I'm hearing book writing. You have so much to say. The Father is saying to me, tell my servant, it's book writing time. She has so much to say, and I'm confirming the word over and over and over and over and over. You're going to speak about nations, you're going to speak about aristocrats, the elite, and you're going to speak about the difference of the kingdom versus the, 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 the kingdom versus the man brave kingdom. And God says, Alison, you are a type of Esther that has been brought to the kingdom for such a time like this. But there's something very serious about your mantle. Your mantle has two dimensions that is very serious to your personality. Your mantle is a judgment mantle, and it's a mantle that judge and correct. But the Lord says you lack mercy. So you must intercede. That's why you don't get released. Because <laughs> the kind of vicious kind of um, 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 person you are when you see people being abused. And you see people that are doing certain things and getting away with. You feel like you would be like Simon Peter that just go and deal with things. God is taking too long to, to do certain things. So... God wants to burn mercy in you, uh, compassion. That's why he kept you in that mood. You are not a church prophet. You are a nation prophet. And I see where God is getting ready. I see an interview coming for you on a radio station. And the Lord says you're going to be talking about human trafficking. You're going to be talking about children abduction. You're going to be talking talking about different things in the nation the holy spirit said be in pain and delivered because you are a watchman and the lord said take care of that which i've entrusted in you because all watchmen are seers you're a watchman you must watch and 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 you must observe the changes and swift enough time for example i was in my office last night and i was in a dimension of the spirit and the lord says stop and he said what do you hear in the spirit and i, I literally hear rain dropping and I said, God, I hear rain dropping. And he said, correct. And I went outside. And because my office is not so close where I could hear the rain drop, I went outside and I said, my God, the rain is falling. And the Lord is saying, this is just like when God says to Jeremiah, what seest thou? So you are a seer woman of God. And there are things in the nation that is going to affect the economy of your nation and God wants you not just to see it but to pray about it there are things that your prayer are going to block and stop and cause the assault of the enemy over your economy over the nations to die another thing that God shows me is that you are a deliverer your mantra is to snatch people out of the enemies then to nurture them for a season and then to release them do not 
um, become too loyal that when it's time for their release, you get too attached to them and it always have to end with a fight or a disrespect. You got to know when it's time to nurture and when it's time to release them. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Lord is saying this is your book writing season and God is equipping you to talk to governments and people in and um 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 in in different kind of um 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 sphere of the society so, and God specifically put an anointing and assignment on you for media. I am talking to you right now and I'm seeing television. I'm hearing television and radio ministry, but no, it's your writing season, prophet. Does that mean anything to you? Can you confirm it in the prophetic name of Jesus, the Son of God? Amen. I want to speak to um, Veronica Hollywood. Veronica Hollywood, Jesus. This test that you have been going through the last 14 months that has been off and on, off and on, is literally to promote you. But every time it gets too intensified, you do what God don't want you to do. So what I see is like you have to keep repeating, you keep repeating. But God says this is the final one. There will be no repeat, Veronica. I am going to push you out there. You're going to tell people great things that are mysterious things. God is going to use you to demystify a lot of mystery that surrounds certain things that were hidden. I see the Lord giving you a lot of revelatory in, um, anointing. I'll also, the Lord showed me that you're a dreamer. And many times you, you actually dream things and it happened. And you said, what? It's like this is deja vu or whatever. But this is a dimension of the anointing that needs to be um, 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 quick on uh, um, um, activated so that you can get a more depth to it, like the mastery of this thing that you're carrying. And the Lord says, it's not going to be bad. So don't be frantic. There are some call that is coming. God is going to seek your attention. And all of them is going to lead you to a place of prosperity and promotion, says the Lord. She says, very true. So at this time, I want to thank God. I've been here from very early tonight. And I, I'm going to be going back into prayer with my prayer team as we are preparing for crossover. Now, on my um, page, the, on, my, on my timeline, there is a PayPal button. We have two crises. I was called in, in the na late um, last night about two family in the United States of America who is actually being evicted in the winter, in the cold winter. And she reached out to me asking for a financial assistant. This, the um, sheriff came in and served her uh, uh, eviction notice. She has her two children. She has grandchildren and she has no way to go. I have been trying to raise money for that family since yesterday. And I really need your support. I need your help uh, to do what God has sent me to do as it relates to assisting this beloved of God. I know it's a trying time for all of us, but whatever you can contribute, it will be greatly appreciated. So I'm giving God thanks for you and your obedience in making this woman, hallelujah, you know, safe for the Christmas. It's, it's horrible for her and her children to be put out of their home in this festive season. So please, brethren, help in whatever way you can. I've been always doing these things. I just don't announce it. And um, I felt impressed not to let her go out. They are so depressed and so discouraged, but to do whatever I can do to help in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. Uh, thank God we raised um, 150 last night and 75 last night from some other persons and we are looking, the, the target is 2,800. Every dime will go to the intended purpose. Praise the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. With that, this is Prophetess Anna K. Wade from the line of Judah Prophetic Ministry. I hope that this little teaching on taking territories was a blessing to you on tonight. 
The Lord bless you as we continue to lift up each other in prayer. Do have a wonderful weekend. Shalom. Until next time, God bless you. Good night.